Break out your flip-flops, pack your swimwear. Whether you're planning your own vacation or looking to virtually escape, we've got you covered for the next 30 minutes. St. John in the U.S. Virgin Islands is arguably one of the most naturally beautiful islands in the Caribbean, as two-thirds of the island is covered in national park. In today's video, we're taking you to snow white beaches, snorkeling pristine reefs, and trekking through the jungle to old sugar plantation ruins. This is the fifth and final video in our Virgin Islands series, as this adventure started in St. Croix before we flew on an eight passenger tiny plane to St. Thomas. A negative test result is required before arrival, but not required upon return to the States. So jump on the ferry with us now and enjoy. Yeah, I'll be better than that guy. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> okay. Holy shit. <laughs> I don't even know if we're going to the right spot. They were just like, go, and we're like, okay. <laughs> we might be going to a totally wrong island. It's open. Oh, there it go. I had the GoPro going. Oh, good. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> They were trying to make you occupy the same exact space a truck existed in. <laughs> Are we going to the... Oh my god, we're already moving. They're already pulling it up. We're Tim and Finn, and you're watching Tripped. This is a Virgin Island specialty called the painkiller. I was making sure it was at least noon. Cool. <laughs> Check. And um, we've got some great things like pineapple juice and lots of rum. But then I think the icing on the cake is a sprinkle of nutmeg on top. And now I will just drink it. Okay. Whoa. Yeah, it does smell like eggnog. <laughs> does it? Kind of. You need to add that spice to kick the sweetness. And no, we haven't found the beach yet, but we did find this bar restaurant. It is such a flex when a region of the world is like, this is our drink. This is our drink. This is it, because they do that with food, but when you do it with a beverage, it's a flex. It just stunts on everybody. We're experiencing the local culture, which is important when you travel. She's standing on the backpack. Do you want to lay on that? My bad. You want to lay on? You don't like the rocks? Okay. Here, you want to lay on the backpack? Oh, that'll be nicer. You want to go right here? On the this episode is brought to you by Trip Travel Gear. The Trip Travel Gear backpack compresses down on your luggage to save space and also doubles as a dog bed during happy hour. All this for only twenty dollars. Something this versatile could only be made by Tim and Finn. <laughs> I feel like I'm being dessert shamed right now. Ron. Sabes que Ron? Well, there's no way on this one. Hold on, everybody. Hold on. We're just driving up this cliff. Easy. Ooh. Hold on. Ooh. Wait, slow down. Wait, stop. What in the world did you say? Bobby, <laughs> don't. That was not for children. What's more impressive than that male donkey is this view. <laughs>
please, please come and enjoy. We love the babies. Aww. Uh, we're a privately owned property. We open up to the public. We have excellent snorkeling. We have a bathroom available. We have a calm bay. We have turtles, stingrays, sometimes dolphins in the bay. Free Wi-Fi, oh. cornhole games, pet friendly. Dang. We Whoa. We have kayaks and stand-up paddle. Boards. All right. Every All right. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Right in the area. All right. Thank cool. Thank you so much. Come have some fun. Thank All right. you. Awesome. Thank you. In a constant effort to explore destinations off the beaten path, we found ourselves at Hanson Bay Beach. This small secluded beach was a great way to avoid the crowds as it's located all the way on the less visited east side of the island. What we were hoping that meant is more beach to ourselves and more wildlife. And that seemed to be the case. Treats. Oh, okay. <laughs> what is going on? This is the middle of the street. <laughs> hey, Pepper. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> hey, there's a car coming. He's just walking. <laughs> Careful, donkey's bite. I don't know either. I don't know. <laughs> Bye. Nice to meet you. Oh, oh, oh. What? <laughs> ran after him to go bite. What in the world? Cheese. It smells like donkey poop. If St. Thomas was budget, then what we're doing here is beyond. Ball. Uh, <laughs> we're balling. 
We're working the partnership with the Grandeur Villa so that we're staying at a discount to um, take some photos for them to add to their Airbnb listing. But it's big enough that if you had some friends that you wanted to join together, this place still is reasonably priced and I haven't walked inside yet. I cannot wait to see what this is. The other thing I really like about the Virgin Islands is just the fact that if you wanted to share this place with friends, everybody has to pass, you know, show negative COVID test results. And so it'd be a way to quarantine safely with your friends. And if you don't trust your friends, they would have to have a negative test before arriving. So it's like not a passive aggressive, but okay, let's go check this place out. Oh, is this all ours? How about this lip? I mean, wow, this is, Beautiful. The kitchen is huge. Smooth jazz, okay. It's welcome jazz. Oh, so it's three bedrooms, a walk-in closet, and the master. Wait, there's a whole second porch out here. <laughs> oh my gosh. How are we gonna do anything on St. John? We're just gonna wanna hang out here. <gasps> wow. Oh. oh, it comes out here. Okay. Oh, oh. Let's choose. I choose bathroom. Oh, I see. Oh, my. Wait, is this a Chelsea guest room? What a view. Oh, the driftwood. Ooh, we could do that at home. That's cute. Wow, what a view. Oh, my gosh. Look at that mega yacht out there. So if I'm like staying here with a double sink, and are my kids staying in here or another couple? Let's see. Oh, yep, see, this is so... Oh, the kids have their own bathroom. Wow. Well, this concludes our tour. What I will share, because I don't want to share the nightly price to allow the Airbnb host to, you know, Airbnbs change prices through high season, low season, things like that. Um, but even though the price for this villa is high for just you know, two people, if you were sharing this with the three different bedrooms, this is cheaper than a hotel room. So the fact that you have all of this space and then um, use of the community pool here in these condominiums. I can't wait to not see St. John and just hang out here. <laughs> How will we have time for it all? on our channel we would have just been doing this offline and not filming it but we're trying to show continue to show the reality of travel and the reality of travel today is it's raining and the reality of travel is we do so much work offline in our businesses that we can't constantly be off doing things so we're on the computers all day today for our first day in st john the rain just happens to be convenient and we're just sitting here eating groceries. Because we're talking a lot about, you know, like budgeting and money on this expensive Virgin Islands trip, we're gonna play Price is Right with Tim Grocery Store Edition. Uh, Vinny went into the store today. Well, I took Pepper for a nice walk that wasn't straight up and down hills, so I don't know the pricing on anything. One can of tuna, I'm gonna say $2.30. $2.99. Oh, dang, I went over. Uh, $5. $5.89. Nice. Uh, $4. $5.19. Oh, I'm really good at this right now. El Paso, $5. $5.57. Wow. I don't know, $4.50. $5.39. Here's the lunker. Rotisserie chicken. There's a price on it, so it's a little I'm gonna tiny. cheat. I'm gonna bet it was $10.99. $10.99? This is a historic day because this is the most expensive rotisserie chicken I've ever purchased in my life. We spent $71 on groceries to feed us lunch, dinner, and breakfast tomorrow. What a bargain. And I didn't even get any snacks for when we go explore the island tomorrow. Oh, that 
that is way better. that there's a national park right here in the Virgin Islands. Pepper, what number of national park is this for you, honey? She's pensive. She's like, where's the frisbee? <laughs> Dogs can go on trails here, not most of the beaches. We're gonna just kind of do our thing that we do in national parks, drive around, look at the pretty stuff, pull over in these viewpoints, and enjoy. Wow. Well, look at the color of that water. Okay, confirmed, it is a national park. <laughs> I did not. What? Did you know there were deer here? How did he get here? I didn't know. Maybe. Maybe. You know, they come with park. all the national yeah, parks. Like, Yo, let's go there. It's nice. <laughs> This is Trunk Bay, one of the most popular locations to go to on the island. And it wasn't until we got here did we actually realize what this is all about. Within the national park, it looks like you're just paying your park entrance within each beach then. Um, so we're gonna go around, see the highlights, because we still wanna see it. We know we can't really hang out there, but there is a dog-friendly beach on the east side of the island that we're gonna trek over to. But until then, off to the other exciting sites. Also, we are the youngest people on this island, <laughs> by far. You might be, I'm the average age. <laughs> <laughs> We're laughing because this is like our parents love coming here and parents, friends, and yeah, this is like the popular place to go if you're American or Canadian between the ages of like 50 and 70. Yeah. Voice over. <laughs> Like, oh man, guys, I'm real sorry you can't go to the beach and see paradise and swim with the turtles and see the coral. I am just real small. I weigh 10.2 pounds and I just got an airplane. I'm real sorry. Okay. Just a quick PSA for any comment warriors or in case you're new here. A big part of what this channel is, is showing travel with a dog. We know that you can see more places in the world without traveling with your dog. But what you might not realize is we like traveling with our dog and want to show other people that it is possible. Now, let's head off to some of the best parts on the island, which also happen to be dog friendly. An abrupt early morning here in St. John, our last day for the uh, Reef Bay hike. Let's go on a hike, come on. Take what you can get for free. Oh, there's also the. Come on, there you go. Hey, turtle. Turtle, this isn't a good spot for you. Right here he loves... at the Reef Bay Trailhead. No, he's in charge of this trailhead. Oh, he's doing a great job. Excuse me, do we pay our admission here with you, sir? Welcome to the trailhead. Have you... fun. Welcome. Have fun. Have fun. <laughs> Keep your dog away from me. <laughs> Boy, a bushwalk. Pepper, you found our second piece of nature with Hermie. Thank you for finding him. Careful, Hermie. Wait a minute. Are you taking me on a four hour hike all the way to the water? Yeah. <laughs> this is easy. Think about it in context of That's Vietnam. That's really This far. is like a morning hike before lunch. You can see the water at least. <laughs> <laughs> Our ferry leaves in five hours. Oh boy. No, honestly, it's just nice to hike right now. It's like we've just been chilling on vacation mode and like drinking and it's just it's not very like walkable around here either. Maybe that's something we haven't touched on. You have to drive everywhere and then when you're there, you're there, but you you can't like walk along roads. It's not, does that make sense? Yeah, no the roads here are nuts. This is definitely the right day that we chose to do this hike because it started raining, so now it really feels like Vietnam. This is a new hobby of ours. 
because we film everything in 4K. We love filling up memory cards and not bringing extra ones along. So now the rest of this hike will be brought to you by iPhone. Okay, vlogging on the iPhone. We can tell that this is the last day of a three week trip. We um, are kind of burnt out. We've been taking lots of rest days too and work days. And this is just, we're realizing a little too long when we're filming everything. And so we're thinking two week trips in the future. And it's just cool to, I don't know, be able to chat with you guys and share that because we used to not so much share stuff like this because we were getting comments like that we're complaining when we're in this beautiful place. But I think it's helpful because I know a lot of people also either are currently documenting trips that they're taking or want to in the future. And you just don't see that when you're watching these cool, beautiful videos online about everything that it takes to make it happen. You know, the first four hours today, we're all making sure everything was charged, making sure we had everything. Obviously, like we made some mistakes, but that's just such a big part of behind the scenes that you don't see. And the reason why there is still a difference between travel vlogging and what you see on YouTube and National Geographic and with huge cameras and film crews and location scouting, just because it does take that much time and effort to make things like this happen. Are you discovering ruins? Yeah. This looks like Cambodia or something with the vines. Yeah, I actually remember maybe Gone with the Winds or somebody put some video from some island nation. <laughs> Very specific. Where they had made the whole church out of coral because, you know, at the time they didn't understand the importance of coral. But, and you use what you have, right? That's yeah, more coral. Lower Croft vibes. I haven't seen that movie, but totally getting the vibes. <laughs> <laughs> How would you rate these ruins? On the scale of ruins. On the scale of ruins you've seen on this trail, I would give these a 10 out of oh, 10. Oh, that's on this trail? Yeah, yeah. 10 out of 10. <laughs> what is this? More coral, dude. So cool. Allison Finney, coral oh, ruin like expert. <gasps> Cheers to one of you who like did that throwback joke. You you have to be like total OG here to know that joke. That's funny. To know Allison's also Allison Finney, Albatross, Albatross expert. Allison Finney. I think it started with Starfish Rescue in the Philippines. Yeah. <laughs> um. Nope. 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 Where? Where is it? Where? Pap. Okay, wait. It's above my head. You can zoom in. Oh my god. Oh no 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 oh, no. 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 Oh, no, 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 no. okay. Oh, no. I thought it was a snake. Oh, no, 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 it's just a tasty no, 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 no. treat. Oh, no. Ooh, this is a big boy. Put your hand up next to it so we can see scale. No, 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 no. I'll okay, bye, Spider. Have a good day. What are these little guys doing out here? Hey bud. Okay, miss you, bye. That's the biggest one I've ever seen. Whoa, that thing's a monster. I didn't know we were gonna go on a nature safari today. Feel 
This episode is brought to you by Trip Travel Gear. Trip Travel Gear water resistant backpacks are only $19.95 on Amazon. A great place to store your clothes in the rain and keep your gear dry. Disclaimer not waterproof, just water resistant. Now back to scheduled program. If it's your first time seeing us, uh, we make this backpack that is our travel brand. That is why we're able to support our lifestyle of travel. Um, if you want to check out our gear, we always have a link down below in the description. And please continue enjoying our rainy day here in St. John. Yay! Just wait a moment. Patience. Well, you want to just keep walking? I mean, we're going to get wet over there. We're going to get wet Let's here. do it. Surprising to be able to like go into a spot like this. Yeah, the stuff's always usually closed off for a minute. I think if you made it down the trail, they have faith in you to not go swimming in one of the vats. Yeah. There's a seven year old bee's nest in here. Hey. Whoa! Yeah, that's awesome. Long hikes, not usually the first thing you think when you're thinking about tropical island paradise, but well worth it today. Really glad we did this on our last day. It's crazy what a flight can do. Like the fact that we're on the beach, in the jungle, in the Caribbean, and tomorrow <laughs> we're gonna sleep in our own bed. Isn't that insane? Like I just, I love yeah. airplanes. This is just so close too, to home. It's, you don't- I forgot the backpack. Well, but an opportune moment to show you that it's still raining. Good job. Good girl. Good girl. Ten minutes from getting in. <sighs> Oh, and then I've carried Pepper's dirty. I'm like covered in dirt. Oh, she's just a dirty dog. Oh, okay. Trip Travel Gear Review with the rain. My hat is soaked through, so let's see how the clothes in the backpack did. Backpack is soaked. <gasps> Look! Ta da! Hey, here, here's, a, here's water droplets for reference that just touched my leg. Okay, effective. It feels wet, like it, it's borderline. It's on the edge. It was fully submerged in a deluge, but dry shirt. And for extra protection, I even brought a bathing suit in case I wanted to swim in a packing cube. So that's just extra dry. Although it's a bathing suit, it can also just get wet. <laughs> Water looks like that color. This is not a filter. <laughs> Straight up. Did you like this video in St. John? Give us a thumbs up. And don't miss the previous episode at our budget accommodation in St. Thomas. 
You'll also find three videos on the other US Virgin Island of St. Croix. And make sure to subscribe because you're not going to want to miss the next destination of 2021.